At least 44 people have been killed and around 150 others injured in a stampede at a religious gathering attended by tens of thousands. It happened at Mount Merin in the northern part of the country where ultra-Orthodox Jews were holding an all-night prayer and a dance celebration. This footage from social media shows the scene shortly before tragedy struck. A densely packed crowd dancing ecstatically at the annual Lakhba Omer celebration. <music> Authorities believe overcrowding is likely to blame for the fatalities and injuries. <laughs> Rescue workers say many of the dead were either trampled to death or suffocated. We just finished treating one of Israel's worst disasters, a terrible disaster of people who came to celebrate Lag Baomer and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and unfortunately were literally crushed to death. It was the first large-scale religious gathering to be held legally since Israel lifted most coronavirus restrictions. But despite Israel's successful handling of the pandemic, health authorities had warned against holding a gathering of this size. The Lag Ba'omer religious festival is particularly popular with Israel's ultra-Orthodox community. Israeli police report nearly 100,000 people attended the gathering, which they say is four to five times as many as should have been in a location like this. And from Jerusalem, I'm joined now by journalist Sami Sokol. Sami, tell us, what more happened here? Yeah, well, uh, this is an annual event. And in uh, previous years, we've had uh, up to uh, 200,000 people on the Mount Meron uh, for these uh, festivities. But it seems that uh, this year was a bit uh, different. Uh, there were different arrangements on the site. And uh, this what is causing this stampede uh, that uh, brought about to the death of uh, 38 uh, religious uh, men, uh, all of them belonging to a group which is known here as the Toldot Aron. Uh, this is a group um, based here in uh, Jerusalem, an ultra-Orthodox uh, group. And um, they were kind of uh, told by, by police to, to leave the, the site so as to enable other groups to come in. Uh, we have to remember that uh, last night was a Thursday night, uh, today is a Friday, and uh, everything was done in a very hasty way uh, because of the upcoming Sabbath. And as you've highlighted there, I mean, the Lagba Omar, it's, it's considered to be one of the most important um, in the Orthodox community. Could this have been prevented? What went wrong? Yeah, well, Lag Baomer is, is, it comes at no, no surprise. This is a major event, and there have been thousands of uh, police there. And uh, what we, we see is a, a mismanagement. I would say most of it is a kind of a mismanagement on a local level. Uh, there were gates that were supposed to be open. Uh, according to eyewitnesses who've been uh, speaking to the, um, to the media, uh, they've been saying that certain gates were not open when they were supposed to be open, uh, emergency gates, uh, that the police uh, force at the time did not realize the scope of this, uh, of, of the tragedy, of the upcoming tragedy. Uh, but we also have to remember that there's great distrust between this specific uh, religious group, the Todot Aron. Uh, they are, uh, they regard themselves as anti-Zionists and they often are in friction with police. Uh, so we, we from already from the beginning, we don't have a good relationship uh, between this group and the police. And uh, maybe this is also one of the reasons that we saw what we saw. Tell us a little bit more about, um, you know, in the context of what you're saying right there, and also in the context of what's happening on the ground, uh, then what the challenges that the authorities might be facing, because we understand that there are still people on the mountain. Um, the rescue forces, how do they handle this now? Yeah, well, you know, the, the rescue forces, uh, once the, uh, the, the, the reports came in, uh, they had the helicopters, the Air Force had helicopters uh, coming to the location, evacuating the wounded uh, to hospitals. 
and the ambulances came uh, and everyone on this mountain were taken out um, special uh, trains uh, were operated uh, from uh, in the nearby uh, towns so as to evacuate everyone uh, once this uh, tragedy was known uh, there were st uh, uh, you, you can hear the uh, footage actually it was in Hebrew and in Yiddish this is a community that speaks Yiddish and they were told uh, to leave the site and uh, everyone has been uh, by now has been evacuated uh, but of course there will be a investigation and uh, we're seeing this as a major uh, tragedy that Israel has not seen um, for, for, for decades I would say. Sammy Sokol joining us with the very latest. Thank you.